Welcome back to After the Whistle. We have a special guest, the new member of the KX Sports team, Zach Mothersbond. Zach, I want the viewers to get to know you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about yourself to start off. Yeah, I'm 22 years old, um, from Northeast Ohio. Uh, graduated from Ohio University just a couple weeks ago. And kind of, what's the whirlwind been like? That was me exactly about a year ago. My first week was about 10 days after I walked the stage of graduation. Just kind of, what's this whirlwind been like for you? Just kind of getting here fast after graduation. Yeah, you know, I mean, you don't, I mean, you vacation outside the state that you live in, but you don't live outside the state that you live in, obviously, very often. So you got to make that 19 hour trek uh, from where I'm from all the way up to here. And long drive, got to drive through a bunch of big cities. We saw Chicago, but it's been pretty interesting. You walk around and you see the flatlands out here in North Dakota, realize that, you know, you're not in you're not in Ohio anymore. And it's been pretty interesting. It's been really exciting to be in a different state to be able to work here. Uh, my first job here at KX News. Yeah, and just kind of what's been the excitement? I know you've kind of been thrown into the fire a little bit with a bunch of state tournaments. You were at State B, baseball and softball after state track. Just kind of what's the experience been like so far to start? It's, it's so much fun, and I know that it's going gonna, it's gonna to die down a little bit after this in terms of the content that we have, but it's just been so exciting to get here and do all these important events and cover, obviously, all these un unbelievable athletes. I mean, you go into these state tournaments, and it's the best of the best competing for a state championship. It's been so exciting to get that look into how good these athletes are here and how exciting they are to watch. And I have to ask you, our sports guys, just – Where's your fandom lie? What's your favorite sport and who are your favorite teams? I, okay, if anyone sees this that knows someone from Northeast Ohio, please don't get mad at me for this. I am a Pittsburgh fan in everything. Pirates, Steelers, Penguins. I know that there's been some, some problems with that uh, up in Northeast Ohio, but that, that is where my loyalties lie. I have to ask, it's very rare knowing the rivalries that lie between there, especially in football. Just kind of how did you become a Pittsburgh sports fan living in Ohio? So my dad's side of the family uh, pretty much is all from Pittsburgh uh, up until my dad. So his, his father, my grandfather's from Pittsburgh or from the Pittsburgh area in Pennsylvania. And they were all Pittsburgh fans and everything. And so that's kind of what I became. Uh, my dad was cheering for, for the Steelers and the Penguins and the Pirates. And that's kind of where I went. Yeah, and I want to get a little bit know. I want to know a little bit more about your journalism background. Just when did you start doing journalism and what kind of got you into it? I actually didn't start journalism uh, until college. Uh, I knew that I wanted to go into journalism in college, probably since my sophomore year, I'd say, of high school. Uh, but I didn't really start going out and covering any events or doing anything anchoring or otherwise until college. Uh, what got me into it was just really my excitement for sports. I realized that, you know, if I could have a full-time job where I covered sports and talked about sports, is, that would really be the best thing for me in my career. Yeah, and kind of what were some of those best experiences that you had throughout college and really getting your feet wet in the industry and just getting some experience? Yeah, so at Ohio University, we have what's called Gridiron Glory. Um, it is a high school football show, 30 minutes just of high school football. You go cover one game, you have about a two and a half, two minute 45 segment on that one game. So you get to do a highlight call, you get to do a chat, and it's so exciting to be able to just cover one conference and one team. Um, we have, we covered the states out there. Now, none of the teams that I covered ever went to state, but it was so exciting to see all these incredible athletes down in, it was in Southeast Ohio for that. And then we also had Hardwood Heroes, which covered high school basketball. And it was just so fun to be able to cover one team, uh, get a good connections with coaches and players and do a bunch of interviews and cover those people down there. Well, just get ready. Friday night frenzy when we have <laughs> football, then in the winter wrestling, gymnastics, hockey, basketball. We'll have those shows. So you will definitely get your feels there and yeah. know that you have some experience there. That'll help you a lot. But I want to ask you just kind of knowing that you didn't get your start till college, but what would you say is kind of your favorite thing about journalism? Is it telling stories, the connections with athletes and coaches? Like you said, what would you say is your favorite thing about journalism? I think it's definitely the connections with the athletes and the coaches. It's so fun to be able to go out there and, and do a story or a package on something that an athlete's going through or something that they've done for their community. And that happens all the time down in Southeast Ohio where they do so much for their community, a lot of charity work and all that kind of stuff. So I covered that before. Uh, and it was just so much fun to get those connections with those players, those really high level players, but they're also all great people uh, in Southeast Ohio and really everywhere uh, I've seen so far. Uh, in North Dakota, and it's just so fun to get those connections and, and see what they're doing for their community and what they're doing in their sport. You'll definitely get those connections here. We have some incredible coaches and athletes here that I know you'll love talking to. But, Zach, thank you for joining me. Folks, make sure to watch him on the weekends. He is our new weekend sports anchor, so make sure to tune in on the weekends to see Zach. Zach, thank you for doing this, and welcome to the team. Thank you. All right, make sure to stay tuned. We have more from After the Whistle next.